I'm a co-founder of Atlanta Justice Alliance, and we are one of the organizations that feeds the homeless up. Today, uh, we are having a Feed the Houseless event. Um, we've been doing this for a few months now. Um, the only real like organization that I'm a part of is Atlanta Justice Alliance. Um, there's me and the, another person that started it up um, kind of beginning of the summer. Um, but really, this event is under a bigger umbrella and it's got multiple different organizations, but everybody Everybody kind of falls under the alliance that we started Atlanta Justice Alliance to kind of like get everybody on the same page. Um, so this is kind of everybody. I can only speak from, from my perspective, um, but I'm, I'm actually one that has been affected by the city and by this pandemic and the lack of response of helping their citizens out. Um, I actually lost my family, my job, um, my house. I, I lost everything this summer. So I feel I feel a personal connection with these guys. And that's kind of why I started this, um, was to help out the population that I've, I, I myself have even neglected in the past and not done my part in trying to help out. Um, but I wanted to start something and at least get them through the, the holidays, at least make sure once a week I was getting everybody I could together to uh, give them a hot meal. Um, and it's kind of grown from that and now multiple organizations, um, a lot of just individual people that just want to help out, um, come out and, and help out with this event. It's a couple of my friends who started it to begin with and I'm always here to support them. Uh, always here to support any kind of movement that helps people who are in need or who, uh, who are the most vulnerable parts of, of, uh, of our society. Uh, anything that protects them, I'm all for it, and I am always down to, to lend my hand. Uh, there's also, um, you know, elements of uh, just social service and the idea of you see all these people in Black Block, they're in Black Block for a reason. We're here to do community service. These people, they feed people, they shelter people, they protect people. The government wants you to, you know, take them all into shelters and, you know, have a big capitalist-like solution, but really they just want to move the problem off the, off the street. They just want to move it away. It's, it's important to meet people where they are. You know, not everybody is ready to go inside, and with coronavirus, it's not even safe for everybody to go inside. So it's important to meet people where they are. If they're not ready to go inside, or even if they, you know, just walking down the street, you don't have to be a certain economic class to get mutual aid. It's about our ideology of sharing what we have with everyone and making sure that everybody has access to the basics. Food, basic medical care, you know, housing, shelter, uh, clothing. Those are things that nobody should go without. Um, the first couple of weeks we did have uh, some negative reactions from uh, APD and uh, the ambassadors. So when we would first start setting up, there was only a few of us, so we were easy targets. And uh, because we're trying to do something that the city should be doing, they don't want that. They don't want to show that you know citizens do want this and people do need this. So they uh, they'd rather just shut us up or push us out. Um, so APD would come up asking for a permit. Ambassadors would come up asking for a permit. And with what we're doing, we don't we don't really need a permit. Um, we're just having a picnic in the park with a lot of our extended family. When you're looking for leadership. We're looking for leadership on any issue that's affecting black people, that's affecting the unhoused, that's affecting uh, the, the poor people of Atlanta. You will find no leadership on any of these issues. Atlanta just wants to sweep it under the rug. Nothing to see here, folks. There's no problems in this city. Um, and that's one thing that they really hate about what we're doing because we're showing everybody in this downtown district that there is a problem. There's a problem here. Uh, but we're gonna jump in and try to help wherever we can. I would hope that especially our city government would take heed and see that everyday citizens are stepping up and doing what they should be doing. Um, and I think they should, they should care about their citizens. 
whether they are poor, wealthy, whether they are, you know, homeless or have a big house in West End. Um, I think they should want to help. You know, they see us already doing the work. So instead of trying to kick us out of the park, um, ask how you can help. You know, see what, you, see how you can be a part of this and help it grow, so that we're taking care of more people and more people are able to get access to the things that should be offered to them. Common needs of the homeless are housing, mental health, uh, mental health therapy, um, uh, treatment for people that are drug addicted. But the main thing that they need is just empathy and compassion from the general public. Right now, we have a city that says it's too busy to hate. The only people that's too busy to hate is people with money, okay? Because this city has went out of its way to criminalize, marginalize every homeless person in the city of Atlanta. Right now, we have over 2,200 unsheltered folks in the city. And the city during cold days like today, they only make 135 warming center spaces available. And the fact that we allow such a huge houseless population in the city of Atlanta, but we could easily, easily take care of that situation. If only we had leadership from the government instead of trying to hide the problem, doing anti-human architecture like the rocks under I-20. You know what I'm saying? We gotta go a long way towards making it uh, the type of society where we have a floor for people. You know, we, not everybody gotta gotta be rich. You know, you gotta have a floor for people. In the richest country in the, in the world, everyone deserves food, water, medical care, education, shelter. Those things are some things that before we allow any person to have more than what they need, everyone should have access to the basics that they need. How do you feel about being so proactive in this moment as a white person where you're serving our aligned with mostly black and brown populations. Um, there are quite a few white people out here in this homeless population, but how do you feel and how do you attack that whole, I guess that question that's prevalent in this moment of to ally or to stand back? And it seems like you, you as an organization and you as an individual have, ta have taken a pretty foot forward position in this crisis. So my personal stance on it, and I, I've been coming out since day two of the George Floyd protest. Um, I feel like as a white male, I have about as much privilege as you can have in today's society. So I feel like I need to use my privilege to provide a barrier between any people of color that want to voice anything or need help with anything, um, I feel like I need to be a barrier to keep them safe to do so. So whenever we would have to be out protesting, I'd always be on the front lines. Um, even now, you know, you know, this is a risk talking to media and having my identity even somewhat out there. Um, but I feel like it's better for the eyes to be drawn to me and want to, you know, attack me for doing this stuff or whatever, than to attack a person of color. And the majority of our organizations are people of color, and I do not like talking to media like this. It's not something that I'm very comfortable with, but I do not want the target to be on them. I want, they've, they've had enough targets on them just by living. Um, I feel like if I can take one off, then then that's my duty. Like that, I have to. Hi, my name is Thomas. They're doing tremendous work out here helping the you know the homeless and the community. We appreciate every we appreciate everything that they're doing for us. And you know we would like to thank everybody that shows the support, the cameraman, the security, everybody that's showing their support to help the community.